Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel and I'm a 26 year old who's lived in New York City for the past three years. I recently moved home back on Long Island due to the pandemic, but I'm here to share with you some of the tips I learned along the way when I searched for my first apartment and for my second apartment in New York City as well. To give you guys a little more context and to give you more information about me, I'm a 26 year old young professional. Like I said before, I graduated in uh, 2016 at Lafayette College with a civil and environmental engineering degree. After graduating from Lafayette College in 2016, I lived and commuted from Long Island into Manhattan every day for about a year and a half. It was over an hour, hour and a half commute every day and it was definitely really draining. But in my time, in that time, I was able to save a lot of money and pay down a lot of my college rent. And that's something I recommend you guys doing and that I can cover in a separate video um, how important it is to save a lot of money and be able to pay down all your, all your debt. So after those 18 months, I decided it was time to move into New York City. I found one of my best friends at the time who I knew would be a good roommate. He was always clean and just a, just overall very responsible person. And we moved into, into Brooklyn. But back then we were considering a bunch of different places. And here are the three tips that I learned when I first searched for my apartment back in 2018. Step number one. <clears throat> You have to find roommates. If you're planning on moving to the city, you have to have a couple of roommates who are gonna be on the same page as you. Rent is the most expensive expense while you're living in New York City. People pay upwards of two to three thousand dollars a month. For a professional, that is a lot of money to be spending on rent every single month. I suggest two to three roommates when you're first moving into the city. I know that may seem like a lot, but it'll actually help cut down rent quite a bit. If you're living with two to three roommates, you can easily have your rent from you know, 2,000 to closer to a thousand dollars a month. When you're looking for roommates, it's important that you're not looking for your best friends, but, for, but you should be looking for people who are good roommates and are compatible with you. It's really tough living with your best friends and finding out that they're not the most clean and having to remind them to throw out the trash every single day and cleaning up half of them. I know from many experiences, and even from myself, that, you know, friendship's sour because of that. If you don't have any friends that are moving into the city at the same time as you, I suggest looking on apps like Rumi, and even going on Facebook and checking out the groups and see who's looking for roommates just like you. Once you find someone, make sure that you interview them, maybe have a chat with them, get a cup of coffee, and just see if you vibe with them. If you guys are not compatible, then it's all right. You just gotta make sure that you let them know that you're not interested in being a roommate because of X, Y, and Z, and see if you can find someone else. Once you've found the two or three people that you think you can live with, next step is finding out what neighborhood you wanna to move to. Which brings us to step number two. Finding out what neighborhood you wanna live in in New York City is actually a pretty arduous process. There are so many neighborhoods to choose from and a lot of personalities in each neighborhood as well. Depending on what type of person you are and what you like to do after work or where you work, it's important that you're close to who you like to do. Not, you know, people don't like spending all their time sitting on the subway or walking or riding your bike just to commute. If you're someone who loves to party and go to bars and restaurants after work, then I suggest living in areas such as Lower East Side and East Village. There you'll find a bunch of other young people who, you know, like to live the same way and love being around all the happening neighborhoods. The other areas include the Midtown Manhattan, which can be great if you don't like commuting very long to a bunch of places around New York City. Um, with, in Midtown, you can really commute to anywhere within 40 or 50 minutes. Going further up on Manhattan, you have Upper East Side and Upper West Side. There you'll find a mix of younger people and people in the late 20s who want to have a quieter neighborhood and be able to come back at home at night and be able to enjoy the night peacefully and get ready for the next day. Above Central Park and north of Harlem, you'll find even better deals because you're further from 
they're further away from everything else. So people would pay more, so don't have they don't have to commute as much. But up in um, past 125th Street, you'll find a lot of great deals and cheaper rent. I suggest to everyone that once you've found a few places or in a few neighborhoods that you think you may want to live in, it's best to double check and actually explore the neighborhood. Walk around, go to a few shops and restaurants, and feel like, and see if it's the right neighborhood for you. It's good to go during different times of day to see what it's really like 24 seven before you commit yourself to a year living in that neighborhood. This brings us to step number three. Once you have your roommates figured out and you know what neighborhoods are on the top of your list, is now you have to figure out what to prioritize in terms of amenities and what you want in your apartment. Rent can actually range a lot in the same neighborhood for similar bedroom apartments. You can find more newer homes, newer apartments with elevators and doormen that could you know, raise your rent quite a bit washer and dryers can also raise your rent quite a bit. You know, whether you're facing the back of the alley or back of the building versus the, the front of the street, whether they have new appliances in your home, or new furnishes, new bathrooms, that can all be, that can all affect your rent. So you're gonna make sure that you and your roommates are on the same page from, in terms of what you want, what you wanna prioritize, and what you can afford. So those are my three tips for anyone who's looking to move to New York City. And so let's recap. Number one is make sure you have roommates to help really save, cut down on rent and so that you have people to hang out with when you come home after a long day of work and can help explore the city together. Step number two, find out what neighborhood you wanna live in. There are a lot of different neighborhoods of different you know, personas and, and vibes. And step number three is you wanna make sure that all your roommates are on the same page in terms of what you want out of the apartment and prioritize what's important to you. For me personally, I would love to have a washer and dryer. Walking down to the laundromat is actually quite a pain if you have to go every week. And being close to the subway. I don't think anyone wants to walk 10, 15 minutes to go to the subway every morning, especially when it's cold and it's raining or it's snowing. Anyways, thanks guys for checking out my first video. Let me know in the comments below what you wanna see next. If you wanna see what apartment I ended up choosing as my first New York City apartment, and maybe even my second apartment. Now I'm filming this in New in Long Island, um, where, where my family lives uh, due to the pandemic. Um, I'm actually moving out of New York City and I'm looking forward to moving back. 